Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There is 19 earthquakes on this map area of a 2.5 or greater in the last week. This here is an image of the Salton Sea in Southern California. You'll notice here this red line that stretches right along where all these earthquakes are happening. This is the San Andreas Fault. But more concerning, example, the magnitude 4.6 that happened yesterday. This shows uplift. This shows spreading. Using Google Earth, I posted two of the larger earthquakes, a 4.0 and a 4.6. They're at the Salton Sea. And the spreading. Why are they having spreading? Because of volcanism. Because of magma coming up. According to this research paper, the Salton Trough is a critical structure where two very different styles of deformation meet. Spreading center dominate deformation to the south of the Gulf of California. And high heat flow, young volcanism, shallow metamorphism, and micro seismicity led early researchers to interpret the southern Salton Sea as a buried spreading center with a northeast striking system of normal faults. Another research paper shows the block rotation between the San Andreas Fault System and the San Jacinto Fault System. It's got a uh, clockwise rotation and also they have on here marked in orange triangles as Volcano Buttes. So we have the San Andreas Fault going smack dab lining up with the San Jacinto Fault Zone. And let me pull this over so you can see this. And can you see the little triangles? I'll try and make it bigger. That's as big as I can make it. And then the multiple fault systems that go through here. Another paper that says the newly mapped Salton Trough, which runs parallel to the San Andreas Fault, could impact current seismic hazard models in the earthquake-prone region that includes the greater Los Angeles area. This was only discovered, this Salton Sea fault line, back in 2016. In this region, a magnitude 7 point or greater earthquake has struck the area roughly every 175 to 200 years. A major rupture on the southern portion of the St. Andreas Fault has not occurred in the last 300 years. I have talked about how a rupture on the southern end of the San Andreas Fault going from south to north would be so much more dangerous for the Los Angeles area because of the funneling effect that the mountains would have for the Los Angeles area. Here on USGS you can see the red lines of the different fault systems. And again now there is 23 earthquakes in the last week of a magnitude 2.5 or greater. Changing it, we got 430 earthquakes on this map in the last week. Looks like we got another one here along the San Andreas Fault. That would be a 2.2, uh, 20 kilometers in depth, and a 1.3. Also, smack dab along the San Andreas Fault system. And look at all these earthquakes. Now, we have seen an increase in earthquakes and volcanism around the world. There is hydrothermal um, power being produced because of the magma <laughs> that is under the sea there. Is the magma trying to come up? Will it trigger an earthquake along the San Andreas Fault System or the San Jacinto Fault System? Either of them is going to be devastating. Are you prepared for a disaster? This is very concerning, all these earthquakes very concerning and it just updated for a 1.9 there's a 1.8 a 2.3 2.8 1.7 1 1.3 1.7 yeah you don't have this many earthquakes unless there's something locked and creating more pressure and yeah, there's a 2.0 a 
another 2.2 to another 2.2, a 2.2, 1.8, 1.5, 1 another 1.5. I mean, I could just go on and on and on. A 4.0. Now that could be an aftershock. A lot of these could be aftershocks. But because it's the Sand Andrews Fault and we got spreading, we got magma. Yeah, I would be prepared just in case. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.